Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. We've been doing the parables of Jesus Christ. This is the last of this particular series, and is found in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. It's all about the sheep and the goats. It says, When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, and they will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All nations will be gathered together to him. And he will separate the sh people from one another as a shepherd uh, separates the sheep and goats. And he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. So this is the day of reckoning where God separates people. The goats on the left and the sheep on the right. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my king. Father, take your inheritance and the kingdom prepared for you since creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. When I needed clothes, you clothed me. When I was sick, you looked after me. When I was in prison, you came to visit me. Then the righteous will say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, thirsty and give you something to drink? When did you see when we when did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go and visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did to the least of these of my brothers, you did it unto me. So what Jesus is basically saying is when we do those acts of charity, whether it is visiting someone or clothing someone or having an act of hospitality or giving a, 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 a meat or, or drink in His name, we're doing it to the least of Him. You see, we're called not only to preach the gospel, but we're supposed to have acts of love and charity. And one time, a person asked Mother Teresa, how can you minister to the down and out? How can you minister to the lepers of Calcutta? And she looked at it this way. She says, I look at Jesus in his distressing disguise. And that's what we need to do. We need to visit those in prison. We need to help the sick. We need to clothe people. We need to feed people. We need to show hospitality to people. We need to be God's hand extended. That's what the song says. Lord, make me an instrument. But listen to what Jesus says to the ones on the left, to the goats. He says, To those on his left, depart from me. You are cursed. And go into eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave nothing to eat. You, I was thirsty, and you gave nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't invite me in. I needed clothes, and you didn't clothe me. I was sick, and in prison, you didn't look after me. And they said, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, stranger or needing clothes, or sick in prison, and did not help you? He says, I tell you the truth. Whenever you did it to the least of these, you didn't do it to it. You, uh, you did not do it to me. Then they will go into eternal punishment and the righteous into eternal life. You see, what Jesus is telling us is there is an outgrowth of our Christianity. And it is to take care of those who God has placed in our lives, as we call the distressing disguise. Helping those who cannot help themselves. The church is called to be a restraining and lightning force. We are the ones who are called to be God's hand extended. We are called to minister in every way we can. And I'm so grateful that so many of you do that. But if you do not, if you are so selfish, you are so self-absorbed, your world is you, then something's going to happen. And that is, of course, you're going to miss the kingdom of God. In fact, what will happen is you'll miss eternal life completely. And you'll miss the blessing of not only having eternal life, but sharing that eternal life with others. So, Take all of these parables to heart that we've been talking about. And this one especially. This is basically putting boots or putting feet to your faith. Showing others that you really care. Now I know that there are organizations like Salvation Army that do a wonderful job. But folks, the Salvation Army cannot do everything. But you can 
you can touch those in your world. You say, well, I can only do one act of charity. Maybe that's all you need to do is one act of random kindness. Today I was uh, listening on the radio how that this woman was going to have a project. And the project was that she was going to go and have dinner with 15 different people in an evening. And then she was going to document it in her blog and tell people how it's going. Another young lady, one year, decided she was going to do 365 acts of kindness, which she did, and she recorded it. Well, folks, you don't have to write it in a blog. You don't have to record it in uh, some sort of video form. What you need to do is you just need to do it. So if you know someone, go and minister God's love. And remember, you're doing it to Jesus in his distressing disguise. I know you're not doing it for rewards, but you will be rewarded for doing it, especially if no one knows that you're doing it. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.